Why? Because he loves you. That joy that was set before him was him knowing the result of his obedience. Praise God. We go back to verse 6 of 11, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Why do you obey? Because not only do you secure your salvation, but you may secure the salvation of your family, and who, knew, who knows who else. We obey because we love God, and we obey because we love the people that through our lives will be blessed. Amen? Amen. Philip, my brother, from another mother. <laughs> I know you are struggling. Have faith. God has you where he has you for a reason. Have faith. Have faith. One way or the other, you'll be delivered. Have faith. Let him finish his work. Let him finish what he started. Have faith. Amen? Amen. Have faith. And I'll say that to everybody that's in a struggle right now. Have faith. Have faith at Bosch Bread. Have faith. Lisa, have faith in your cleaning. Have faith. Paul, have faith at Walmart. <laughs> I need to go pray and have faith for him to have faith <sighs> at Walmart. Joan, have faith at your work. Sue, have faith in your role that God's given you as a wife and a mother. Have faith. Stop beating yourself up. Have faith. God did not make you a wife and did not give you a child because he didn't think you could do it. He's already, he, in fact, he knows you, you can't do it. We've already <laughs> determined that. But he can. Amen? He can. Have faith. Have faith, people. Have faith. And if you can't do it for what you can see, do it for the result of what you can't see. Amen. Our little one growing up. God growing this ministry as he sees fit. Every one of us here is called in leadership roles, whether you acknowledge it, like it, or care about it. He is building you up in the sense of your <coughs> faith so that you can help other people who don't have it yet. We were at that thing last night. There's a new teen center in town, and Sue and I went down there, and the lady that's running it really has a heart to do something for the Lord. She's so naive. And she has so much energy. But she just doesn't know how to walk yet. And I pray the Lord allow things to happen where that becomes a success for Cottageville. Where there is a stronghold of God's people here in this town that will drive back the corruption that has been in charge for so many years. Amen. But it has to be done in what? Faith. faith. In faith. Verse 2, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Verse 3, for consider him that endured such great such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your what? Mind. Mind. Because that's where the battle is. It's in our mind. And that's where we give up, isn't it? That's where we give up. Verse 4. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And what is sin? Unbelief. Who's our great example? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Did he give up? Did he 
quit before the job was done. When I remember he was on the cross, he said, what? It is finished. We're all in the midst of a lot of things that God has called us to do, and called us to accomplish. Don't give up. Don't listen to the enemy's lies and unbelief. Stand firm in faith in God. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Amen. What if Samson, when he was blinded and put up as a spectacle before all the rulers and nobles of the Pharisees, of the Philistines, Philistines what did he say? Lord, give me strength one more time. Just one more time. And what did he do? He brought the walls down. Killed more in his death than he did in his life. Praise God. He never lost his faith. He might have felt stupid for letting that woman cut his hair. But he never lost his faith. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose your faith. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you for this morning. I thank you so much for your sacrifice. I thank you for your resurrection and the blood that is still on the altar. Lord, so many of us have walked in unbelief for, the, for really the majority of our lives. And man, it's hard to turn this boat sometimes. <clears throat> Help us to get through it, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. I want to encourage anyone that has not accepted Christ as their Savior to do so. If you need help, get on the phone. Send me an email. Send me an email with your phone number. Faith in Christ is the only thing that's going to get you through it. Amen.